Let's go for this one. All right, this is another Trader Joe's find, and uh, surprisingly, my girlfriend likes it. So, this is a was it dry hopped red ale? Yep, seven point two percent, forty two IBU. So, uh, at forty two, it's gonna start having a little more bitterness from the hops, and uh, not everyone might enjoy it. If you're already like pale ales, if you already like uh, hoppy beers, not a problem. One hundred percent, you might want more, and then that's why you don't like it. This can be anybody who's looking to expand their palate on hoppy beers this might this definitely will be one um for me i enjoyed it and it was more hoppy than expected even sitting at 42 i was like i think it's a little more but my girlfriend actually liked it it's weird because like some hops uh she enjoys and other ones she don't so trying to learn what they do uh which hops they utilize can help out usually what is it uh the classic ones like cascade and all that usually more bitter and the more modern ones like Mosaic and there's another, I can't think of any right now, but obviously Mosaic was the one that got me into it, a little more fruitiness compared to the bitterness. And there's another one I'm trying to think of, but it won't have them. I'll probably, I'll write it down on there. Um, I'll look up a couple that are more fruity. So I just had one the other day. Uh, Texas Punch had one. It's like a Azaka or something. Azaka is a newer one that's made, but that one's also uh, very fruity. That's what I was trying to think of. There's like the top two that, are fruity so if you get a hazy beer uh, with all the particles floating around you tend to get more of the actual fruitiness when they're clear it just uh, usually they're not filtered just all the sediment comes down some people filter the beers you're going to get a little more of the bitterness compared to the fruitiness from the hops it's very very bright Ooh. and ambers they can just have any hue of red honestly it's the the grains itself to really contribute to that, but they just have a distinct flavor. So a little bit of red, and when you see your other uh, ales, you'll see a little tint of red. It's from the grains, and they're beautiful. How they add a little accent. There's just something different. That pigment itself contributes to the flavor as much as the yeast. The yeast is the main factor that makes it beer, but off the bat, it's like a grain wine, and that little red tint it just has a natural little flavor, and some people just naturally love it, and they'll just want it all the time. And that's one. That my girlfriend remembers the ambers. You can call them reds. Either one. Uh, there, there's a few of them like Fireman Red on all that stuff. There's a whole bunch of them. So try that spectrum and see how they uh, come off to you. And the hops are usually pretty balanced. So you'll either just get a little bit or a good enough amount to see if you want that hops or not. And then have a friend that loves hops and they'll tell you like, it's not that hoppy. It's like having someone that loves spicy food and you don't. And you're always like, man, that's hot. And they're like, no, it's not. <laughs> it's a good balance. It's very beautiful. I'm trying to just catch up. It's a type of fruit. It like, reminds me of cantaloupe. That's what I'm going to go with. And yeah, I get that nice little kick of bitterness from the hops. But the grain itself is very cereally. Leaving that little... Um, starchiness like you eat a lot of cereal and get that and like you're about to be done or you stop for a minute and after you're done chewing it feels you feel that coating of grain that just sits there and it's beautiful and you're like man that's nice i want some more that has this uh, obviously they're using a lot of grains that you would definitely see in some kind of a meal or breakfast item uh, they can do different combinations so you can't have that similar starchiness for me the best way to describe it is the malt because knowing malt the barley it just leaves this beautiful little fine finish, and that's basically to describe it. If someone can't pick up on it, it's like it's almost like oatmeal. It's almost like cereal, but usually when the beer has oatmeal, you can get a lot cleaner flavor. Believe it or not, it doesn't have to be the same. This one still smells sweet off the note, malty, and just yeah, that little fruitiness reminds me of cantaloupe. It's just right for me. It's just right. I can't believe she's enjoying. Uh, that bitterness, I'm happy, but normally, if I tried it, I would be like, I don't think she'll like it. And this one, she enjoyed it, but she said specifically, she has not come across red or amber ales that she does not like. So that just might be her happy medium. So that's just notes for you to decide if that's where you're at, if you believe where you're at, if you're with a friend, if you're helping making decisions, if they absolutely know that they love red ales and amber ales, you probably can't go wrong. So just stick with what you know. Don't go too far on the lines, but definitely um, if you feel that a beer is tasting similar with the hops, that could be the one to try out with them. You could see if it's just the hops or the green. Um, if you can find out the hops, they could see 
a lot of similar ones and usually most people can nail them down so people have way better uh, practice and background and they just can nail it I'm very happy with just knowing the core of it and I mainly explain this so anyone that asks is like is it beer is like wine there's just a lot going on but they have varietals they focus on beer starts off with tons of grains you have these varieties of hops and then these yeast that you usually work with that recipe and then a brewer will like get a recipe and then oh let's try this yeast let's see Knowing what it can do, what it contributes to it. So the best example I could say, St. Arnold has a lawnmower, um, Kosh, I believe it is, and a weed whacker. The main difference is one of them has the Hefeweizen. So the original one is the Kosh, and the new one is the Hefeweizen yeast. And it just totally changed that same recipe. So you can do a side-by-side on them, a lot of similarities, but that yeast just took it to a different area. It seems more light and crisp, even though it's a heavy beer, the yeast just did something different and made it seem more vibrant. Amazing. So I can't narrow it down too far for you. This is the best I can do, and hopefully this is enough. That's why I'm focusing on this beer. I'm spending a lot of time on it. I want to do my best to give you a bunch of things to click and go, okay, this is what I'm looking for. This is for me. All right, I know my friends, and that's what I'm going to have. Oh, you know what? This person's birthday's coming up, and I've seen a couple of the beers they've been good at. Just knowing the styles, you can go off on the styles. Especially if you know red and amber, it's a solid L area. So there's a lot of them. Newcastle is a more lighter one, and this is a lot better than that. But Newcastle is still good. It's like the Budweiser of uh, red ales. But it just, back in the day, I was crushing them. My buddy loved them. That was the one beer he could have. And I was glad I could enjoy beers with them. To this day, I think about it. I was like, yeah, good times, man. Hell yeah. So hopefully everything's good. Uh, hopefully I didn't put too much to scramble your brain, but enough to understand if this, this is beer for you, this is the beer to share, this is with a friend. So there you go. Uh, red Ales. It's a Red Ales. Oh, also, this is a Trader Joe's beer. So the Campology or Joseph Bro is the ones that do it. Uh, they do everything. That's in California. And you just find it in Trader Joe's. So you can find that. And they have tons of flavors, tons of six-packs, tons of bombers. And they've just been expanding, expanding, and brewing, and brewing. And I'm pretty confident that's the only place you can find them. If not, please write it in the comments so if anyone is not near Trader Joe's, they can find this beer. But I'm pretty sure that's just where you're going to find it at. So good luck to you. Everyone else, enjoy. If not, we will find something that you will uh, enjoy. Enjoy with a friend. Get for a birthday. But for now, let's just prost.